Can somebody explain how it's already December of 2020? Please? It doesn't make any sense. But by some means we are here, and that means I'm going to be attempting Techmas very loosely. Jay's two cents tweeted out he is gonna do what he calls Techmas, and that is upload a video every day until Christmas. I am going to be attempting to do the same thing and not just make a large quantity of videos, but also make quality videos that are worth watching. And that leads into today's video. We're gonna be taking my old system that I used to game with and transfer it from this custom made case into the Montec X1 ATX case. And then I'm going to end up selling that one down the road. But I really don't wanna get rid of this custom case that I made. This one is really special to me. It's the first case mod I've ever tried. So I have an old power supply here. I got a new refurbished EVGA 600 watt bronze power supply we're gonna be using. And then we're gonna swap everything over and see how nice the Montec X1 case is to build in. It's a $55 budget ATX case and it comes with four pre-installed RGB fans. It looks really nice, so I'm excited to build in it. Let's check it out. I totally forgot there's not even any screws holding the motherboard, so uh, sorry for the no upbeat, you know, fast forwarded uh, disassembly of the, of the system here, but it's gonna be pretty simple as easy peasy just like that so we are out with the old in with the new I can't wait for the day when all cases have one plug that has all those little tiny connectors on there because wow, I'm sweating. That was terrible. We got everything in there. It's all wired up. Now we just got to flip around to the back side. We'll use some little zip ties and we'll make it look nice and cable managed. And then we'll power it on and see how good these LEDs are. And we'll go over just the full analysis of building in the case. So that is absolutely not my best cable management work, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. It looks decent. It's gonna get sold to somebody else. So now it's time to test out the RGB. It's the best part, man. So we're gonna test that out. It looks really good in the previews. I've never powered it on myself to find out. So this is my first impressions as well. Let's check it out. So 
powering it on the RGB, effects look really nice. Overall, I'm very happy with the case. It has that nice mesh front. You're gonna get a ton of airflow into here. The RGB is nice and bright. There's no wobble on the fans whatsoever. It's a little bit tight to work in the case. It's not the biggest ATX case out there, but everything fits in very nice. It's got an easily removable magnetic dust filter right on top. It features two USB 2.0 and one USB 3.0 up on the top. And overall, I don't really have that many negative things to say after swapping over and building in this case. One thing I did notice is that you have this big open hole here. So when I was kind of shoving some extra cables down into there, you can see straight down into the little bay down there. So you gotta be a little bit more careful when you're hiding your cables. You can't just jam it under the, the battery shroud there. For a $55 budget ATX case, the Montec X1 with four RGB pre-installed fans is 100% a go-to. I especially really dig this front mesh here. It's got a cool design, the RGB flows through there nice, and you're gonna get a ton of airflow and keep your parts nice and cool. Compared to my NZXT case up there, it has a solid front and then just a tiny little gap that it, all the air has to get sucked through and it's really not good for temperatures. I was almost thinking about selling my old system in that case and then putting that old case with this system and selling it, but I think I'm gonna go with a Lee and Lee or something different for that one. And I really wanted to give the, the buyer of this PC a nice, good budget case, and this definitely fit the bill. If you guys are interested in purchasing the Montec X1, it is roughly between 50 and $60. It goes on sale for different prices quite often. I will put the link to it down below in the description. If you're interested, you could purchase it through that link. I might do some more case and build reviews in the future. This one, I just wanted to get done because I had an actual purpose, not just to review a case. I actually needed a case for my old system. So this is a video that I really wanted to get done and I think it turned out really well. I had high hopes for the Montag case just by looking at it and looking through the different pictures. It seemed like it would be a good case to build in and it also looked really nice aesthetically. So the Montag X1, shout out to Montag. You guys made a great budget case. That's it for today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.